Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It is bright and early, not even 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I'm, I'm freaking fired up this morning, man. I came across a story, and the more I just looked into this story, uh, the more it just ticked me off. It, it's just, it's telling, let's just get right into it. Yesterday, I did a video. I wasn't even planning on doing the video yesterday. I came across my family members, people in this complex, while I was out. And they're all talking about Virginia. And almost verbatim, my, one of my family members tells me how they're teaching terrible, bad things to kids in Virginia. Thank God this, this Republican won. They're not letting the, the parents tell the teachers what they want their kids to learn. Like I talked about in yesterday's video. That's kind of the job of the school. The, that's what we have teachers for, for curriculum. I, I can't imagine having all these individual parents saying each putting in their own opinion on what each kid, you know. That's why we have teachers and school administrators developing curriculums. But let's not, that's not even about what I'm talking about today. All right. So over and over again, I'm telling you guys, you know, CRT, it's not being taught in schools. All right. Today, I get on my apps and everything, and I come across a site, Hot Air. I'll have the link down below. It calls itself a conservative blog. The headline on this, this you know, like I tell you guys, I do this every day. I go through everything, all the news. Then I go through the liberal stuff. Then I go through the conservative stuff. Then I try to fish out where the truth is. The truth. That's what I want. I don't want to sit here and tell you guys the way I see the world, the way I perceive the world, or the way that I think the world should be. I want to talk about... The way it is. The truth, man. That's all I want is the truth. All right. So I come across this hot air on the on a conservative, on the conservative website. And uh, the headline reads, Indiana school administrator admits that we're lying to you. We are teaching your kids CRT. And it's got a still frame video of, of the supposed Indiana school administrator. You know, like he made a, a home video where he's telling you the truth. Here's, here's the truth. Forget them liberals telling you. Okay, so this is interesting. If, if this is the truth, I want to know. I want to know. Let me see the proof. All right. Like I said, this is a conservative, heavily conservative. So I, I go on. I, I start reading through. I, I read through this whole article. The link will be, all the links will be down below. The video will be down below. I read through this at least three times. I, First thing, I wanted to find out this Indiana school administrator's name. Just tell me his name. Can't find it. Can't find it. The more I read over, and this, it's a fairly long article, it talks more, kind of, kind of figures, it talks more about the evils of CRT. And so does this, this school administrator's video, but I'll get to more of that in a second. All right, so there's a couple of videos. There's one video showing CNN MSNBC, Joy Reid, I think, um, you know, liberal people, talking about how the truth, that critical race theory, it's a, it's a, it's a college-level course, just the name of it, you know, and the fact that uh, 95 of adults, 95% of adults don't even have no a clue what it even is, it, that it's not being taught in schools, you know, and so there's a clip of about, I don't know, maybe even 15 different media sites saying how CRT isn't, even though it's, CRT is not being taught in schools, but that's all it is. It's just, you know, the facts. The, it's, it's basically the reliable media telling the truth that CRT is not being taught in schools. And then it has this, this school administrator. I can't find this guy's name. So I, I watched this video. Now, I'm going to let you guys watch this video yourselves. And right off the bat, flags are going off left and right. Okay, we're talking about Indiana here. Indiana is probably what 98, 98% white, uh, white, Caucasian, heavily Trump leaning. This guy's obviously got an axe to grind. All right, now I'm, I'm just I'll let you guys watch this video yourselves. But he talks about how he's seen this. He goes through. He's in dozens of classrooms every day, and he has seen this himself in geography, math. Uh, so uh, sci the science is everything that this CRT is being pushed in all of these, all these classrooms. He's seen it. He's a school administrator and he sees it every day. We're lying to you. Look deeper, he goes. Oh man, that play, you know, 
if yesterday I talked about conspiracy theorists, theorists and how you know pretty much the whole Trumpian Republican Party has turned into this look deeper uh, man so this plays right into it so this guy talks about how he's seen in these classrooms how uh, young white men have been blamed for all society's ills and uh, this is something that really just stuck in my you know I, I, all the stuff he said sound like talking points from a Republican Trump voter uh, of what they perceive to being being taught because it, it doesn't sound like something that makes any sense being taught in like a, a fifth grade math class. Why would you possibly talk about this? One thing stuck to, stuck in my mind. Well, he talks about how, you know, he's seen this. He's there every day. And he, he said how he's seen how that if, uh, if an African-American child has a reading deficiency, that it's blamed on inequality. And it, then they go to the white, the white, the Caucasian child and take away from him and give to the African-American child. He says this, oh, not verbatim, but almost. Watch the video. It sounds like he's talking about affirmative action here. So what are you saying here? You know, what, what, really? So is he telling me that in these classrooms when that, that the maths, the, the scores, the math scores, the science scores of African-American kids, African-American kids is being raised up and they're actually taking the point. Like if this, if this Caucasian kid, the the class, the the, the class brain, the class uh, point, Dexter, scored ninety five. Say she's a Caucasian girl. You know they're gonna take away ten or oh no, well, it's got to be a it's got to be a man. That's right. It's got to be a boy because it's always the white boys that are being picked on here. And it just so happens that this guy's a, a white male too. But you know, and you know, so he's saying this is what he sees happening. That they're taking. He doesn't say what they're taking away. But they're taking away from the, the poor, you know, and all of society's ills today. Capitalism and the downfall is all blamed on the, the poor white male. You know, and right off the bat, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Why a sixth grader? Why would you be telling a sixth grader this? It doesn't even make any sense. And, and then he said, you know, this is happening in, in math classes and everything. You know, it sounds like he's, he's talking about affirmative action. If I'm not mistaken, affirmative action, we've kind of moved on from that. I'm not sure. Like I said, so I want to know the truth when I look at this. What I have, what I see, I see an obviously extremely biased Caucasian white male who is, who is supposedly the victim in all this in a, in a heavily Trump state, a heavily Republican state, claiming to be a school administrator, seeing this, you know. Do I see any proof whatsoever? How hard would it be to put a, a video? You don't have to show the kids' faces. Just show the back of the kids' heads and the teacher. Show her, show me talk, show me this happening in the classroom. Just show, show me one clip, one clip where this is happening. I mean, I could even, re of course, if there was just one clip, you could refute that. But still, I just, all I have is this guy coming on here. Obviously, he, he's the victim in all this. All right, let's say. I'm, I have a reputation as a, a Democrat, a liberal, right? What if I was unscrupulous? What if, uh, what if I, I needed money, or I needed a, you know, or I was lonely? What if somebody came up to me and said, "Hey, Daryl, for five, ten thousand dollars for some some companionship or whatever, I want you to come on here, and I want you to admit, even though it's not true, I want you to admit that you know about voter fraud." You know, look, hey, I'm a, Demo I'm a Democrat, I'm a liberal, here's my channel and everything, but this is what I did. You know, me and my friends would get together on Tuesday nights, and we'd go through the obituaries of different newspapers and cut out clippings, and we'd, we'd, we'd gather personal information and make up fake voter registration cards, and we went to, to cemeteries and took the names and dates and birthdays off the, the gravestones. We did this every Tuesday. It was like a party. And one kind of election day, there was massive voter fraud. And this happened all across the country. I know because I'm a Democrat and I'm a liberal. Right? That could happen. And here's the thing. It wouldn't even surprise me that somebody takes what I just said and clips all the rest of it out and puts that on here. How easy would that be? Is there any proof there? No. All you're doing is telling somebody what they want to hear. All right. What I did find, though, I'm talking about actual video. I did find actual videos of actual teachers talking about things they shouldn't be talking about in the classroom. Telling the kids that Donald Trump is this, the actual president right now. 
telling kids that uh, Hunter Biden had uh, intimate relations with his niece and had all sorts of stuff on his computer, all un totally not not even the, the actual false claims that are out there aren't even this bad. There's a video, a clip down below, and there's there's two or three of them I'm going to put down there. Actual clips, actual proof of teachers telling kids lies. Political bull. Except it's coming from the right. Um, so I wonder if this guy, who is this guy? I can't find his name anywhere through this entire article. Down below, after this, there's some emails back and forth, and they're cut out of context. And they're back and forth from the principal to teachers. And it's, it's talking about how, how they want to... It sounds to me like it's a principal or teachers talking about how to, to address angry uh, parents that are all, are all in up, you know, about the, on how to calm parents down and, and, and talk to them. But it's all taken out of context. I couldn't really make heads or tails out of these, these clipped uh, emails. So basically, there's the video of the, the liberal news stations, one after the other, saying that CRT is not being taught in classrooms. Then there's this supposed school administrator from Indiana saying, we're lying to you. Look deeper. I see it every day. But no proof. Just him, the victim, the supposed victim, with the obvious axe to grind, telling you this is what he sees every day. And then there's, there's these, these out-of-context, clipped it's little pieces of emails that are supposed proof. No name of this Indiana school administrator. No, just, just one video. That's all I'm asking for. Like I'm showing you guys of this teacher talking about how Trump's still president. Now, I don't know if this school administrator is actually just talking about like social studies. Back when I was in school, we had social studies. I remember seeing uh, drinking fountains in my history book. Uh, drinking fountain, a black and white photo of a uh, uh, drinking fountain that said whites only, or a bus, or whatever. Is he saying that this is this is what he's calling CRT? That this is the stuff we shouldn't even be talking about that because it's going to make the poor white boys feel guilty, and we can't have that. So stuff that just happened sixty or seventy years ago in my parents' time, we can't even talk about that because that that's is that is that what you're actually calling CRT? Because I think. The actual CRT you're talking about is not being taught in schools. It's a college-level course. Most adults don't even understand it. How is a fifth grader going to understand it? I think this school administrator from Indiana is full of it. No proof, no nothing, but he's seen it, and he wants you to dig deeper. What a load of crap. All right, <laughs> you guys, have a good Friday.